Hey, wish you were here. These trends are unreal. The aesthetic is out there. The homes are eclectic. And the parties, well, they get a little hairy. You're gonna love what you see, and you're gonna see it before anyone else. Hello everyone, I'm Tom Tilney and I have the joy of working with agencies across Australia and New Zealand. I'm joined here today with Jenny Cheng, partner manager, who is responsible for helping brands to accelerate their growth in partnership with Pinterest. We are so excited to share Pinterest Predicts 2023 report with you today. What Pinterest Predicts is, is a predictive look ahead into what we believe will be trending across home, beauty, fashion, food, well-being, parenting, travel, design, and more. We're in our ninth year, and in 2023, our report offers up to nearly 30 trends. Today, we'll be talking about how our predictive trends can help you to get ahead of your competitors this year, and we'll dig in deep on just a few of our favorite trends from the report. But before we dive into the details of the report itself, I want to spend a few minutes on why we think you should consider Pinterest for your media plans. First and foremost, let's anchor into something that's very, very special to all of us here at Pinterest, and that is our mission, which is to give everyone the inspiration to create a life they love. As a visual discovery platform, our users find things that are interesting and save them, creating pins, boards for their favorite ideas. And Pinterest is a very different destination. We're all about giving people the inspiration to actually get offline and experience things in their real lives. The journey from inspiration to realization, from idea to idea. People show up on Pinterest for a reason. They come for inspiration, be it a life moment, a new house or baby, or a seasonal moment like back to school or the holidays. It could even be a everyday moment, like a dinner idea for tonight or something new to watch on TV. What's special about our users is not just their demographics, but the moments and interests and the facts that it's all grounded in the future. On Pinterest, people are coming to plan for a future that hasn't happened yet. This is very different from how people use other platforms. Here's an example. Other platforms will show you what someone has done or is doing right now. On Pinterest, they come to plan the party that they're excited to have. They come to discover ideas and inspiration to ensure it is a success. This planning mindset of our users is what makes them so valuable. If brands show up in the right context, then their ad is the answer. This is a radical departure from the notion that online ads are interruptive, imprecise, and infuriating. Another crucial differentiator for us, and one that I certainly feel most passionately about, is that Pinterest is a positive place on the internet. People don't come to us to talk politics or take someone down. We've been working hard to reduce and ban misinformation on our platform, including weight loss ads and political ads, just to name a few. As a platform, we also introduced inclusive tools to allow users to search for inspiration by hair pattern or skin tone. We want everyone to be able to see themselves in the ideas that they discover on our platform. Showing up in a more positive environment drives impact at every stage of the purchase funnel. In fact, 60% of consumers agree that they're more likely to remember, trust, and purchase from brands when seen in a positive environment. Now, making those policy changes has led to this independent finding. We are ranked as the most trusted digital platform in the world, according to insider intelligence. Let's, that, let's let that sink in for a second. Now here at Pinterest, our users are open-minded, but they're full of intent. They come to discover things to learn, do, make, or buy. In fact, 88% of monthly pinners use the platform for inspiration in the purchase journey. And our users are over two times as likely to say they made a purchase based on branded content they saw on Pinterest. Now that's why 445 million unique users globally come to us each month. That scale plus contextual relevance, the planning mindset I mentioned, the positivity and the effectiveness is a very strong combination. And it makes Pinterest a very different 
destination. With that, let's get to the showcase of today, trends on Pinterest and our methodology behind this year's report. Before we reveal these predictions, let's take a moment to look behind the scenes at how we built the report, which is very much a blend of art and science. And if you've not already done so, I would strongly recommend you visit pinterestpredicts.com to go any deeper on the trends that we'll be taking you through today. Now, no doubt we all remember 2020, the most chaotic and arguably most unpredictable year in memory. That year, 80% of our future looking trend predictions in the year's predictions came true. Since then, for the past three years, we've found that our predictions continue to be true 80% of the time, which is pretty remarkable. But in a way, it's sort of expected if you know how and the way people use Pinterest. People use it to plan what they want to gift, what they want to cook for dinner, where they want to vacation. It's a natural window into the future. And here's an example from last year. Barkitecture was a trend we predicted that would blow up in 2022. Judging by some of the headlines we saw, it suffice to say that animal first, home decor and architecture rose in prominence. This was largely driven by millennial, Gen X and boomer pet parents. But our accuracy and accountability isn't our only superpower. Our trends are meaningfully different to others. We partnered with leading research agency Black Swan Data to compare how trends play out on Pinterest compared to the rest of the internet. According to their findings, Pinterest trends not only start earlier than trends on other platforms, but they also grow faster. Our trends, well, they also last longer than trends anywhere else on the internet. That means people dig into these trends and make them their own over a longer period of time, giving the brands that own those trends more opportunities to have an impact. Our trends dive deeper as well. This is truly unique to Pinterest. And let me explain why. Trends being able to dive deeper on Pinterest means that they can inspire across multiple categories. My favorite example is the classic summer picnic. Anywhere else, a picnic is a meal, but on Pinterest, it's a full aesthetic complete with all of the details, including fashion and beauty, all to ensure you set the perfect outdoor meal. Keep an eye out for this during the rest of the presentation today, and you'll see what I mean. So many of the trends in the report reach far beyond a single category, giving brands more ways in and more opportunities to drive meaningful and culturally relevant connections with consumers. Now, a little bit of the methodology behind our trends. In the first stage of the process, we start by setting rigorous volume and growth thresholds to sift through the billions of searches that take place each month. Unlike most trends research that looks at just one year, we analyze over two year periods, capturing English language queries from all over the world. Over the past three years, we've developed a trend score that uses predictive modeling to help us pinpoint with even more confidence. We've also added a visual analysis layer that evaluates the actual trend line to ensure that we're identifying trends as close as inception as possible. After all, seeing is believing. To ensure that there's no bias that might skew the data, such as seasonality, we work with normalized searches. This way we see what is really rising to the top of our platform. With that, let's take a look at the 27 trends of Pinterest predicts for 2023. As you can see in 2023, we've made nearly 30 trend predictions for the year ahead. These predictions are across 11 categories, ranging from fashion to well-being, hobbies and interests to home and more. Now, whilst we won't be going through all of the predictions today, you can find out more at our dedicated Pinterest Predicts site, pinterestpredicts.com, where you can filter and learn more about the trends by audience, brand values, and categories. Let's take a look at the first of today's focused trends, Jenny, over to you. Thanks so much, Tom. And hi, everyone. I'm Jenny. I'm a partner manager here at Pinterest. I'm super excited to zoom in on some of these trends with all of you. First up is fashion. Meet our first trend, airy styles. There's the obvious wordplay here with a certain fashion and music icon. We predict 2023 fashion will be filled with lace, tulle, ruffles, and shimmer for everyone, as we've seen from the rising searches from Gen Z and millennials. 
after two years of trackies and loungewear, hands up if you're guilty, the focus is now on body bearing silhouettes, which is a fashion forward moment of empowerment. This trend is a gender agnostic expression of femininity and strength. The search terms like ruffle shirt for men and sheer pants outfit are just two examples of this truly trend. It'll be time to trade in those combat boots for ethereal details. No matter how you identify, next year will be a femme for all. Now, here are some thought starters on how you can tap into the Airy Styles Predicts trend across multiple verticals. If you're a fashion brand, rethink style beyond gender norms. Show your audience how ruffles, lace, and chill styles can fit into any wardrobe. If you're a beauty brand, tap into shimmery and shiny beauty looks for all. I personally have been loving the dewy skin look, which has also been trending on Pinterest. And if you're a home brand, feature expressive home accessories like chill pillows or multi-fabric furniture, or even better, shimmery table settings that blur gender lines. Next up is rom-com core. I'm sure you've all heard that Y2K fashion has been trending for a while. Now, people are chasing more than an aesthetic. They want that main character energy that defined the movie industry in the 2000s. That means upgrading everyday moments and making small habits, like trips to your local coffee spot, feel like a scene from your favorite rom-com. Next year, Gen Z and millennials will romanticize their closets with slip dresses, tube tops, cargo pants, and claw clips. Get ready for a new kind of meet cute inspired by your favorite romantic comedies from the 2000s. For millennials, this might be a nostalgic trend, but for Gen Z, it's not nostalgic. Who says that just because you didn't live through it, you can't live in it? Now, time for some thought starters on how you can speak to the rom-com core trend. If you're a fashion brand, build the ultimate rom-com core look. Mix and match clothing for a night out, kind of like how Cher did it in Clueless, or recreate that classic makeover montage, which is also another favourite scene from Clueless. Can you tell my favourite rom-com film is Clueless? <laughs> and if you're an entertainment brand, spotlight the signature styles from classic rom-coms. And if you're a food and beverage brand, bring back Bites and Bebs uh, from the 2000s era. I personally love that one because if anyone knows me, they know I'm a sucker for a dirty gin martini. Our next category is celebrations. Full party, anyone? <laughs> Our copywriting team has absolutely nailed the creativity on this year's trends. In 2023, pool parties will be for the dogs. Gen X and baby boomers are turning their attention to the fur babies and substituting kid-oriented gatherings with pet parties. Nowadays, anything and everything is a good reason to celebrate the pet of the house. We're talking party invitations, party favours, party decorations. Gen X and baby boomers don't plan to hold back for their next pet pool party. Some thought starters on how you can tap into this 2023 trend. So if you're a celebrations brand, show your audience how to tie balloons together in the shape of a dog bone or give ideas on what to put inside a pet party favour bag. If you're a fashion brand, provide fashion tips for owners to match their pet or finding the perfect print to complement their pet's collar. And if you're a food brand, offer ideas on pet-friendly recipes like pup cups and pup cakes. Another smashing effort from the copywriting team there. Next up is the YOLO years, which is one of my favorite trends for this year. In 2023, Gen X and boomers will plan epic bashes for major milestones from 100th birthday parties to 50th anniversaries. And these parties are way bigger than bingo. Look no further than Jubilee cakes and thoughtfully decorated cookies. You know what they'll say, more years, more reasons to party. Now on how you can tap into this trend. If you're a celebrations brand, share creative ways to celebrate anniversary and birthday milestones with party decor to playlists. And if you're a food and beverage brand, highlight both classic and modern drinks or dishes, like the top drinks of every decade to new classics. And if you're a beauty brand, feature party-ready looks for any age. Include models at different age range to introduce a wider audience to new techniques. Moving on to our home category. 
Welcome to Hip Historic Home. In 2023, people will find new ways to honour old things in their homes. These searches are helping people combine vintage, often inherited pieces, with their modern styles. Thanks to the Gen X and baby boomers driving these trends, antiques have never looked so chic. Looking for ways to make their home uniquely theirs, pinners all over the world are rejecting mass-produced products and reimagining vintage and hand-me-down pieces. And the result? Soulful spaces that merge self-expression and historical nostalgia. Time for some thought starters. If you're a home brand, celebrate the creative side of home improvement. Give tutorials on how to create eclectic spaces or upcycle old furniture. If you're a hobbies and interest brand, share DIY spotlights and tutorials on how to give home accents a lived-in look to achieve those maximalist decor dreams. And if you're a financial services brand, connect with homeowners to provide guidance around protecting their newly found investment pieces. On to the next trend, home front, and this one's all about first impressions. The backyard is your trusty fallback, but in 2023, all eyes will be on the front of the house. Rising searches suggest that boomers and Gen X will be pampering their porches and doling up their doorways. People will look to add value to their homes in personal and budget-friendly ways. Hallway and porch makeovers may sound small, but they can pack a punch for people who want welcoming exteriors to match their unique interiors. So if you're a home brand, an idea is craft how-to content on creating the perfect front entrance way via paint colors, quirky welcome mats, standout lighting, or modern front door tech. If you're a fashion brand, inspire your customers to match their front entrance way with their own personal styles. Think chunky coats or statement-making puffer jackets. And if you're a food and drinks brand, help people create warm welcomes with inventive drink and snack options that are meant to be enjoyed at the front. Now over to Tom to take you through some more trends. I'm back. Thank you very much, Jenny. I, I must admit, I did not know that you were such a big fan of Clueless, uh, certainly a film that I could watch again myself. Now, next up is, of course, food and beverage, a very exciting category and one of the endemic verticals on Pinterest. The first of the trends from the food and beverage category, again, remember, there are many more that can be accessed via PinterestPredicts.com, is titled Free Spirits. Sometimes people want to drink. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they only want to drink a little. It's everyone's choice. Gen X will drive this trend, demanding mocktails, cocktails, and low ABV options for all. Consumers are really embracing this new way of thinking about alcohol, whether it's motivated by that dreaded hangover hatred or a newfound love for tasty, low ABV options. People are very much drinking on their own terms, and we certainly expect this to further trend over the course of 2023. They'll be drinking what they want, when they want. How might this trend be brought to life? Well, if you're a beverage brand, perhaps you explore a this or that series and let people choose their preferred drinks. If you represent beauty brands, why not talk to the potential benefits associated with this free spirits trend? Another of the great categories included as part of Pinterest predicts for 2023 is, of course, well-being. And we know that this has become, I think, increasingly important and a more discussed category over the past few years. This trend titled Primal Movement is all about fitness getting back to basics in 2023. People are looking to trade their screens for stretches and their desks for tricep dips. These primitive anti-tech workouts invite people to put their phones down and prioritize posture. Gen X and millennials are driving this trend up with searches like primal movement and neck up exercises jumping this coming year. Every time I read that, I must admit it makes me stand up straighter or sit up in this case. With remote working here to stay, people are looking for simpler ways to combat tech neck as people make their homes their permanent offices. We'll certainly expect to see an upswing in inclusive, adaptive and everyday forms of movement. Looking at ways to bring this particular trend to life for your managed brands. Well, if fitness is your thing, get people moving with simple exercises that can help prioritize healthy movement. Apparel of focus, how about showcasing the right gear to maximize comfort and movement? 
play a part in office or home office setups, get involved in the conversation, sharing simple exercises for even when sitting at your desk. So these are just a handful of the themes that we uncovered, and we do have more content to go through today. But if you wish to discover more of the trends specifically, do head to pinterestpredicts.com. I'll give you a moment right now, if you please, to scan this code on the screen, which will take you directly to our Pinterest Predicts boards for 2023. Now, you are probably wondering how to start integrating these trends into your marketing plans. Well, don't worry, the wonderful Jenny, our big clueless fan, will take you through some best practice tips on how to get started. Back to you, Jenny. Thanks so much, Tom. So now that we have a taste of the trends to come in 2023, I'll now share some ways you can activate on this program as well as some best practices. First, I'll share a quick overview of how you can own a Pinterest Predicts 2023 trend. There are essentially two ways to own a Pinterest Predicts trend. You can either activate and exclusively own a trend with Pinterest Predicts trend badge on a pin pack. This is in partnership with our lovely production partner, the online studio, and includes subsidized production. So your creative will be customized and will meet all of our best practices. The second option is a plus up where you can activate and own a trend with a creator. This will include net new creative developed in partnership with a Pinterest creator. If you'd like some more information on how to lean into Pinterest predicts for 2023, please reach out to your lovely Pinterest team for support. I'll go into some best practices next, but before doing so, I wanted to take a moment to share our success story with iRobot. This consumer tech company bought our 2022 trend, Barkitecture, you might remember from the start of the session, which was all about how pampering your pets just isn't enough anymore. iRobot owned this trend by showing ads to pet parents on how to amp up their furry family members' living spaces with a Roomba vacuum. The pins from this full funnel campaign was a win for efficiency and earned CPMs 47% more efficient than industry benchmarks. 47%. So owning a trend can really boost a brand's ability to harness the interest and energy around it, but we've also worked hard to create tools for brands and advertisers to take advantage of the power of trends on Pinterest using the trends tool. If you've not used it before, you should definitely check it out at friends.pinterest.com. The tool is available for 33 countries worldwide. And while it's a little different from Pinterest Predicts, which is more forward looking, the trends tool enables anyone to be their own trend spotter by looking at recent trend data on Pinterest. It contains three industry first features to help you plan campaigns. You won't find these features anywhere else. First, you can understand trends from your engaged audience. Second, you can filter trends by the demographics that matter most to you. And third, you can utilize net new trend types like seasonal trends to align to your campaign targeting, timing, and creative. And best of all, trends drive performance. And now let's review four key considerations when building your Predicts campaigns, which will help you get the most optimal outcome for your campaign. First, maximize your impact using multiple objectives in Ads Manager. Second, inspire your audience by using a combination of ad formats that we offer. Third, implement custom targeting to reach your desired audience. And lastly, always measure your campaign's effectiveness. I'll go into each of these in a bit more detail now. So first up, running ads using a mix of multiple objectives helps capture incremental unique reach on Pinterest helping you maximize your investment. In our study, advertisers who added awareness campaigns to already existing consideration campaigns saw 52% higher unique reach. Likewise, when advertisers added consideration campaigns to their already existing awareness campaigns, they saw a 17% higher unique reach. On the next slide, we'll take a look at our ad formats in action and share tips on which ads are optimal for multiple multiple objective awareness and consideration campaigns. When building your awareness campaigns, we recommend video ads first and foremost. Video ads are our autoplay video product that plays in feed while pinners are browsing and searching for ideas. Video ads come in two sizes. First, we have the standard video format, which is the same size as other standard pins. 
And then we have the max width video ads, which spans the two column feed and is designed for that high impact awareness. Idea ads are our newest ad format that offers an expansive canvas to bring your brand to life through inspiring video and image content. This full screen immersive format is designed to take your audience from awareness to consideration. When setting up your consideration campaign, there are two different format types we recommend, depending on whether you have a single product or service or multiple products to promote. Collection ads are best used for multiple products and services. A collections ad features a hero creative, which can be a static or video, followed by secondary creatives that show relevant products featured in the hero creative. Standard ads are best for a single product or service. One of the top asks we get from pinners is to seamlessly connect them to actionable websites. Standard ads provide a fluid experience for pinners to connect directly with the content they're interested in, making it simple for them to discover and do. And finally, let's talk about measurement. I know that actually proving value and impact to your business is so important. To understand the impact of your predicts campaigns, we recommend you consider a brand study. These are available to qualifying advertisers who meet minimum spend requirements. The study will ask Pinterest users who have seen your ad and users who have not a series of questions. The survey is delivered by a native in-app polling and the incremental effect of the ads on brand metrics is determined from the delta between the treatment and control groups. Again, if you're interested in hearing more about brand list studies or any other measurement solutions, please reach out to your Pinterest team. In summary, here's a snapshot of our best practice guidance for you to reference as you start planning your predicts campaigns on Pinterest. And of course, as I mentioned before, your Pinterest team is here to help you put together a strategy to best hit and exceed your business goals. Over to Tom to wrap us up for today. Cheers, Jenny. Great to be back. Now, before we go, we're very excited to let you know that our online learning platform, Pinterest Academy, is relaunching soon. The one thing that brands and agencies have told us time and time again is that people are starved for time to learn and gain experience on how to advertise on Pinterest. With the new Pinterest Academy, you can go and learn everything you need to know to run a successful campaign on our platform, all in one place in your own time. It's coming later in Q1 this year, and we'll be sure to send you a note once it's live so that you can check it out. Okay, we dug into a number of trends today, but there are so many more waiting for you at pinterestpredicts.com. So please do go and check them out. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to your Pinterest team for more information. They will be more than happy to help. On behalf of myself and Jenny, thank you for joining us today. Happy trend hunting, everyone.